So, is there any questions? Do you want me to stop recording? No, I just put it off. Oh, yeah. Well, just, just to leave up this slide, because this is the one which, yeah. So, as Adrian said, we, we have a magic bat script. If you've been on the course for the past couple of days, you, you'll be able to use your own. But it's called MPI batch, and you just need to copy it. So, if your program is called hello, just make a copy of it called hello.pbs. If your program is called goodbye, you make a copy of it called goodbye.pbs. And if it's called goodbye.pbs, it knows to run a program called goodbye, just magically. And you just submit it like that. For the purpose of this course, we're not really studying Archer. We're using Archer to run the examples, but we're not studying Archer. So the fact is a bit of magic doesn't matter. And it is unfortunate, as Adrian said, you can't run MPI jobs on the login nodes where you log in. That's just the way it is. Well, it's understandable because if you spend all your, if you try and run big jobs on the login node, then other people get, you know, they can't uh, run their jobs and it all, it all grinds to a halt. Um, so what we're going to do, if there's no more questions, and you can just ask us when we come in around if you have anything that wasn't clear, multiple things. Like, we're going to, do, go on to move on to exercise one on the uh, message passing programming sheet, which is just to write a very simple program, a hello world program. So it doesn't do anything other than print hello world on the, on the screen, but um, use the MPI init, MPI finalize, MPI com size, and MPI com rank routines, so you can work out um, what MPI process you are and how many are running, and just print that kind of stuff out.